The Boys Training Center is the beneficiary of football gear donated by the U.S.-based organization Free Kick Foundation. More from Chevroy Marius. A U.S.-based registered charitable organization called the Free Kick Foundation demonstrated its support for the youth of St. Lucia by donating football supplies to the Boys Training Center, BTC. The new partnership was formalized with a handing over ceremony at the Boys Training Center at Grizzly, where members of the foundation were greeted with the melodious sound of the BTC steel pan. Free Kick Foundation representative Aaron King expressed his willingness and gratitude in assisting the boys of the Boys Training Center to achieve their dreams. Through the pandemic, I, I had a conversation with Director Sonson and, and you know, we, we shared a, 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 a passion for helping, helping youth and helping people achieve their dreams. And, um, you know, we spoke about the different, you know, needs of, of the facility and, and, I, and I made a promise to him then that, you know, I will get him, you know, worst case scenario, I'll get him a, a, a football kit. And today, you know, I'm able to make on that promise. And today I believe that it will be a part of a greater initiative going forward of Free Kick Foundation and the Boys Training Center to help them, you know, not only get the, inf the equipment that they need, but also to help these kids achieve their dreams. The supplies included full Joma football kits, which comprised of football shirts, football shorts, football socks, and water bottles. Manager of the Boys Training Center, Wang Sonson, expressed his gratitude to the Free Kick Foundation. When I looked at the uniform that our boys were wearing, you know, I said to the, I said to the coach, no, we need to do better than that. Um, because these, these, the uniforms that they had were uniforms that they had had for a, a period of time prior to going there. Since then, we've been on a drive to try and get uniforms for the center. I know that we have approached myself, the coach included, we have approached a number of persons who have made guarantees that they will be providing us with these uniforms, but it never materialized. And that is why I'm pleased today. And I was always positive. From the time I, I, I met you and spoke to you from day one, Mr. King, I knew that it was something positive. And I was excited about that relationship. BTC coach Alvin Xavier also expressed similar gratitude to the foundation for the range of football supplies. On behalf of the boys, the wards, it's true some of the players who did the history not here, but it's still BTC. So on behalf of the boys, the wards, the staff, I personally as a coach, I'd like to thank Free Kick Foundation because we have had many people who promised this, promised that, and we haven't seen anything. But Mr. Sonson told me he was so excited the day he talked to you. Coach, I just talked to Mr. King there and he promised us this and it. And to see, well, in a few months, look everything in front of us there, I'm overwhelmed because I know how tough it is trying to source a top brand like Juma. I personally will try to ensure that the boys youth utilize it in the most, you know, correct way, without abusing it, making sure and try our best if we could bring a, a little success with it also. The Free Kick Foundation was founded in 2015 to provide for children born into economically disadvantaged communities with an avenue for growth and development through football and sports. Reporting from the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, I am Chevroy Marius.